Hey guys, I have the JFX 200 in the background. Finally got through our two days of setup and training on this thing. And uh, uh, just did my first print. And it's, it just feels good to have it set up and ready to go. A couple of issues that I ran into. In the past, when I bought stuff from my dealer for Mamaki, they've said, whatever you do, don't open the crate. If you open the crate and something's wrong with it, it's on you. You know, if you have to open the crate, be sure to take pictures just in case there's a warranty issue, you know? Well, came to learn that in this particular instance, they do want you to open the crate because uh, around the machine, and I'll show you some video footage, you'll see what I mean. There comes a metal frame for forklifts that sits like right below the table. And so obviously you can see back here that the table height is, you know, it's, it's a table height, probably, you know, 28 inches or so, 29 inches. And so, um, the forklift metal brackets sits right underneath that. And so you saw the video that I took the other day of the, the crate going into the building on top of some logs, which were on top of some dollies, just so I could get the thing in and get it set down. Because with the forklift, I had a one foot ledge at my window seal that I had to think about. Well, they want you to uncrate this thing. So the easy thing would have been uncrate the printer outside. Then the forklift picks up the printer using the brackets that come with the printer. And it could have set it down into the building onto the floor. Because I put the entire crate in the building and set it up high, it caused an issue. The second thing is I thought it was communicated to me that he was coming Thursday and Friday. So I get a text Wednesday saying, hey, I will be there in 30 minutes. And I'm like, what? So I still had the crate up on 10 by 10 logs, which were also sitting onto dollies. So I immediately had to get into get this thing off the ground as quick as possible so that he has as much time as possible to set this thing up. So I was able to get the crate down using car jacks. Well, then the Mamaki printer is setting on a pallet quite high. And uh, so it took me an hour or two just to get the crate down. Then it took just some engineering trying to figure out how we're going to get it on the ground because we can't fit a forklift in this building to, to pick it up and set it down. So I went to Tractor Supply. I, I, I bought two four by four posts to stick where the, where the forklifts go. Then I went to Tractor Supply and I bought these ratcheting, they call them uh, farm farm lifts, something like that, because I thought that it would allow us to also crank it down slowly. Those things are so finicky though. If it's not set just right, it will drop stuff in a heartbeat. So don't recommend doing that, but we had them there for safety purposes. We ended up using the car jacks underneath the foots of the table to slowly lower it down. In hindsight, I wish I would have bought <clears throat> foundation jacks that are sold at Lowe's for like 59 bucks. That would have been so much better, so much cheaper. <clears throat> but in hindsight, before that, I wish it was told to me to uncrate the thing. And I, I could have just sat it there on the floor and that would have given my Mamaki Tech guy an entire day um, extra <clears throat> to get this thing set up and to get us trained and, you know, all the things. 
So here it is on day two, 7.30, and we're just now getting wrapped up. Here is a little bit of footage of us trying to get this machine onto the ground. If the clicks don't work, that's going to suck. All right, let's go one side at a time. Yeah. <laughs> time for <laughs> that kind of shot, too. Hey, yeah. It's Miller time. I must. I did do my first test print. So um, here's a little bit of footage of that. We got a lot to do on this thing. We have um, a large mural project that we're doing for school system, an entire school system. So every single school in the county is getting murals put up. Some of these murals are eight foot tall by 16 foot wide, which is four boards for each school. Um, some of them are a little smaller. So we have a lot to do with this thing. I'm excited to be able to knock that project out quickly now and uh, recoup a lot of the cost for this machine, which will be great as well. So um, this is going to be a fantastic addition to the shop and um, we can't wait to get it going. I'll show you guys what we have going on in the future. Thank you for tuning in. Hit that like button, comments below, and I'll see you in the next one.